on the GSP side, which is the driver, the, the node, uh, uh, the resource manager server, server all the stuff is proprietaries, hide it, and this is the driver side, this is the kernel space, the user space, and that exists on the GPL sense or <coughs> the GPL library. Uh, well, uh, in the big picture, we can see that uh, the library and the, and the driver decided to have one GPP, one general purpose uh, processor that have attached several uh, GSPs. Uh, the GSP, uh, GPP is considered the, the host, and uh, can, that the host can use the, the, GP, the, the available DSPs as a different uh, services or, or unit processors attached to, to, to the general processor. And basically, you can uh, communicate with the DSP through messages, which are just short uh, commands, and that is streaming. That goes from the DSP to the GPP, and from the GPP to the DSP. Uh, the message is just like commands, the data streaming is just to pass buffers, or just select buffers in the memory area that, you, that, that, that the processor or the DSP are going to uh, do some kind of work. Mm. So we have the, these two types of links, or the same, uh, messaging, the short, it's in length. <laughs> Streaming, multiple and push first, and each work of each link runs independently. And GPP uh, can specify what inputs or outputs a DSP task uses. In the theory, uh, the GPP can select it to connect several DSPs in a, in a single pipeline. So the output of a DSP is the input of another, but I don't know if that is already implemented and tested. But uh, in theory, yes. So, uh, for, for the for the, for the original proposal, well, for the ARM, uh, for the Linux in this case, the DSP is just another variable device. So you have to look at the device uh, directory and use it. So basically the operation is to open a uh, file descriptor for that device and you have access to that, uh, for, for, for the services of that uh, DSP. Uh, from uh, this, is, this is from the GPP perspective, from, from the Linux side. From the DSP side, uh, the DSP see uh, an interface for, for, for input output, which is the streaming that output that is passing by, the message interface, which is the node, and it has a resource, a resource manager, which is in, in charge to raise new nodes, and to stop them, pause them, and see if the DSP has enough resources to execute that specific <coughs> So this is for the graphic. Uh, this is from the Pixel Instrument demo. This is rich. So we have here uh, in our applications that ask for, for a specific uh, operation in the, in the, in the DSP. Uh, and the, the resource manager in the side of the DSP will ask for the to the, to the kernel and so on, to the DSP to execute uh, or to do any operation in a, in, a, in a task. We have several kinds of types of tasks, video processing, like, I don't know, H.263, H.264, MPG processing, audio, you know, AAC, MP3, speech, whatever number in there. So from the, from the DSP side, the, 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 the basic operating system running on the DSP will launch the stuff and the resource manager will be able to, to check if there are no resources, no RAM, no, no PSP, space, uh, whatever it needs, just to launch that task. So, for the GPP, what really the elements involved in this stack, in this, uh, in this process of talking with the PSP, we have the resource manager, which will uh, dynamically instantiate the DSP resources, monitor the DSP, this is from the GPP side, uh, load uh, the DSP code as needed, implement the policy command in the DSP. The platform manager is, uh, is task is uh, launch the base image for the DSP, start and stop in the DSP, implement the data streaming. Uh, the 
have a, an OS adaptation layer, which is have been deprecated lately because the guys from Texas Instrument have built because they wanted to, to share the same driver among different uh, operating system. They re 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 write a lot of pieces of code, and that is not necessarily have been removed lately. Uh, they have a link uh, link driver for level of communication and a database configuration, which is which know which task. In what for, for, for this operation. Uh, for the disk side, uh, there is a linker. The, the huge part of the most important side is the resource manager server that will create each task, uh, each node, uh, and will help in the communication among the, the, the nodes and the, and the GPP. Uh, will set the priority and also responsible queries to, uh, to this piece status. Uh, well, uh, the, the threads of, or, or, the, or the processing units in the, the software perspective of DSP is called task nodes. And there are several threads running on the DSP uh, and they are in charge to execute the, 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 the algorithms that we're going to pass that signal. Um, they communicate with each other and with the, the GPP. So, well, uh, more or less, it comes clear that no task is, no task is a, 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 an algorithm running in DSP that is going to communicate with our general purpose processor. And there are a lot of stuff in there just to help in the communication between that element. So, when we're going to, to, to write a program that uh, will need some DSP processing, uh, we want to use an interface, which is uh, basically a library. And that library, whatever implementation is, will have these uh, uh, interfaces or elements. We'll have a manager, a manager which is the more abstract component uh, which we can play with, and we will and, the, and it will give us information about the state of the DSP uh, of, of the whole system. We have also the, the processor element that will represent each DSP that we can access with, that we can talk with. Um, and with that object, we can manipulate DSP objects which we will uh, uh, able to create, execute and relate nodes in, the, in a particular DSP. And, uh, we, we can communicate and uh, communicate buffers with, it, with that uh, specific processor. Uh, specific uh, the stream is going to the node, not to the processor. Uh, the node is going to, to, to receive the, the streams and the, uh, and the control signals, and the stream, well, it's the buffer that we are communicating between the GPP and the DSP. So, more uh, landed. Uh, there's the driver, and this big driver that we have been talking about is just a driver kernel that you can, you can see that it's mode. And the, the bridge driver will load the base image, which is more or less the operating system that is going to be running in DSP and will be uh, deploy all the stuff that is needed by, by the DSP to load tasks and run execute tasks and so on. So when we load that driver, the driver is configured to load the base image, which is allocated in some place in our file system. So when we are working on a problem, we will just open the DSP.
So the next step in our program will be allocate or, or request for a, for a, for a node in our, in our DSP. All the nodes will have a universal identificator and uh, if everything goes correctly, this structure node will receive the, the information about that uh, node that we can communicate with. Uh, so, at, at this moment, we have, we have only deployed our, our structure in the, in the GPP site. When we launch the DSP node create, all that uh, structure is passed or request to, to the DSP, to the resource manager. The resource manager, if you see everything is correct, just that send, send, send a message to the DSP that everything has been correct, uh, created correctly. And after that, we just ask to run the, the, the node that we have instantiated. And at this moment, we can exchange messaging and buffers between the DSP and the GPP. Mm. In the case of, of the stream, we have to communicate uh, buffers. We allocate that buffer and we say to the DSP, this is, this is uh, the memory area where our, uh, the buffer you're going to process, this is your input, and this is another memory area when you're going to put all the information. We have, can have circular buffers just to see each one and which messaging. We say, okay, this is a new buffer in, the, in this area, and there is a message telling the, the, the DSP tells us that there is a new buffer in the output three buffer. Uh, well, when we uh, when we push a buffer, uh, the stream will not be blocked for them because the flow will not be blocked. And when we are requesting a buffer back, it make us uh, uh, that, that will threaten the GPP will be blocked if there is not ready to. So sending messages. This is the simple. This is the simple way. Just we send uh, send a message with some. Characteristics there, and, and we, they will can get a message with the data, which is basically the command, the argument one, and the argument two. Pretty much the same. And when we are done, we just ask to, 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 the, to the service to stop the, the specific node that we have been using. And after, when we want to release the, the, the DSP, well, this is for, for release the node, after terminate the node, mm -hmm. and then closing the, the, this application, we can close it. Well, uh, for the kernel, the, the bridge driver is not in the Linux branch, I believe. So, neither in the OMAX and the Linux on the main branch. So, we have three options, which is a branch in the, Loma, in the Linux OMAX uh, git repository, in the Texas system and repository, or open down by a friend from Philippec, which is working for electrical stuff. And he, he, he maintains his own uh, hidden repository, just uh, <laughs> the list for, for reviewing. Uh, now, we're talking, we're talking about the, the, the library in the, in the inside of the GPP. We have two libraries. One is provided by the system, which is low, big, slow, and so on. And the other one, which is very slim, and is part of the GST, DSP, uh, or the GST River DSP plugins. Just a, it's a single file. It just, it's, there are wrappers for the video files from the DSP bridge uh, device. For application for this, there are samples. Uh, this is the DSP dummy. Well, thank you, thank you. They are work, I'm working on these three samples, which are the, the samples done by the system that was later to the, to the, to the library of the uh, For applications, now well, we have the DSP tool, which are the Gstreamer DSP plugins. Uh, and the side of the socket node, the side of the, the, of the DSP processor, there are, so, there are several samples provided by Texas Instruments. Project. And recently, you guys from Entropyware have been developed 
Leonora, which is a, a codec for the Theora, for the Theora codec. Uh, well, just in order to write uh, socket nodes uh, for this speed, there are several tools that they are free and fair or free as speed. Uh, which is the compiler, the libraries for the for the basic for the, for the basic system for the DSP, and you need also about few tools that create the metadata for needed by the, by the resource manager. Well, in order to have all this together, which is quite scarce around the internet, I've been working on a on an open embedded uh, overlay, which have called Romita. It's a work in progress. There is not much yet. Many of the recipes there. I have tested all of them in my video board. It generates a minimal match of 10 megabytes. And, and, uh, well, what it provides that is a recipe for uh, an effects kernel, which also has this set for the third mover, which is the bridge, which is uh, just in these three plugins, and the tools, the sample, the lead bridge, which is the Texas instrument IPA. And also have recipes for the uh, oil mix provided by Texas Instruments. Well, what is in the future? Well, with the other four thing, all this has been deprecated. Uh, there was a new thing called Syslink. Uh, we can't do uh, parallel programming between the Ducati uh, CPU, the Tesla DSP. And uh, the trend we can foresee in the future is more cores, more Unix, maybe more different kind of CPUs working there, and what's a bit more complex than uh, uh, Thank you.
you would see the, the submitted patches for, for, the, for the driver. And the driver is already in a branch uh, for Linux Somat uh, Git repository. That's where the official thing is, but it's quite updated. The, the patches are in the patch board just to be uh, reviewed. All of the heavy work is done in the Texas Instrument branch for the Git repository, but it does have a lot of elastic code there. And there is a lot of the other repository that is quite pathetic, just keep the test commits or the best patches uh, in the middle of the now it's just a thing of photo to make it like just to achieve this. The driver is the Roma for also for the Vinci family. Uh, this is for uh, the Oma 3, the Vinci, I see another side of the family that is only working for the East Philly. The standard East Philly, which is a, a narrow width or a, a more uh, smaller version of the DSP bridge. Some error for the, for the Linux kernel, not, not that I'm going to be shouting in the 